सो हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू द रिएक्ट नेटिव कोर्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द रिएक्ट नेटिव फाइल स्ट्रक्चर ओके सो लेट्स सी सो फर्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द इंपॉर्टेंट फाइल फॉर बिगिनर्स वी विल एक्सप्लेन द फाइल्स एंड फोल्डर एंड वी विल आल्सो डिस्कस द इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस ओके द इंपॉर्टेंट फाइल्स दैट यू शुड नो द फर्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फाइल इज कॉल्ड पैकेज डॉट जेसन सो यू शुड नो लाइक व्हाट इज पैकेज डॉट जेसन फाइल वी विल आल्सो टॉक अबाउट द व्हाट इज मेट्रो कॉन्फ़िग फाइल what is babel config file what does index.ts do what is the use of app.jsx and we will also talk about the what is eslint rc and we will also talk about the ios and android folder so let's jump on the vs code so you can see that i have already created one project in the last video using the npx react native at the rate latest in it project name okay so in the last video we have seen that uh, we have done some some changes from app.jsx like it was initially app.tsx it was like using ts uh, but we changed into the js okay jsx so what is the difference between jsx and js so jsx is uh, stand for javascript xml so where we can write the html like looking code so it will give you suggestion and that's why we use app jsx instead of using the js okay so let's talk about the some file of so th let's talk about the first package.json so what is package.json file so package.json is something which file which keep track of every dependency whatever you guys are use and package.json is one of the most popular file one of the most important file for your app okay so say there you can see the name of the package in it and the version and the script file a script file has some uh, you know script like that is that uh, script has some certain task so whenever you run a command npm run start so it will hit this command and when you run the npm and android so it will start this command okay so if we talk about the dependency so our react native project the react native boilerplate is using two, de two dependency the first dependency is react and the second one is called react native okay now there are some dev dependency what is dev dependency basically which are helping this project in the development as dev stand for development so these are dependency they are helping them to develop our app and the development so in the development we are using babel go babel runtime and so on eslint and eslint has no use in the uh, you know production this days uh dependency are just using in the development and we are using the node more than 18 version you can see the ts config we are not using T ts config so if you want to do any configuration for typescript you can add it here readme.md file here you can add any readme like whatever you want to tell about like how to set up your project and so on now what is package log json so basically uh every like you know like react is a package okay so it has a, some uh it has some some sub dependency so package log json will keep track of that dependency as well as sub, as well as the sub dependency okay and that's why like you know package log json is there but one of the if you delete the package log json it doesn't uh, affect anyway but you should uh, if you lost the package log json it means you lost your project so package log json is one of the most important file and you have to take care of that let's talk about the what is metro config file so whenever do we do some changes okay and it will reflect in our app let's suppose if i do some changes uh, okay so it will suddenly reflect that changes after saving that okay and this is possible only for the metro config okay now just config is for the testing purpose so if you want to write some test cases for your app so you have to use just config file we have index.js so basically it is a root file where we register the our app component so we are just importing the app component and we are registering this component okay gem file has some you know it has used for ruby gems okay and we don't have to think about right now we got we are not going to use anymore and what is babel config so basically what does happen now we write babel is a trans compiler which convert es6 code into the browser and understandable a uh, browser compatibility code okay so basically let's suppose we write the es7 es6 code but our react native or our system or our browser doesn't uh, understand that es7 is snippet so it will convert to the compatible form that a browser or apps can understand okay app.jsx we talk about this already what is app.json file here we can 
you know write the name and display name watchman config okay so as the name suggest watchman so it will watch our file so this is the watchman has a job to you know keep the watch of the every file and whatever the changes it will do it will tell you the metro and metro will you know reflect that changes quickly what is pretty rc file so basically pretty r is a pretty r it will predefy our code let's suppose if i you know hit some you know uh, if i make the code very wrong like you know it's not a good manner so pretty r will help if it pretty r will throw error man uh, you are not using a uh, back you are not using writing space you are not using quotes you are not using uh, you know that will throw error like you know to make your a uh, code prettier and that is the use of prettier git ignore git ignore file is something which you know which we uh, git ignore file as a use that let's suppose if you don't want to push some file certain files on the github and so while pushing the code it will ignore that file that's the job of git ignore let's suppose we don't want to pu uh, push node modulo so we have a node modulos in the git ignore same for the dot env file dot env we don't push code we don't put our dot env on the on the uh, github so yeah we have to, let's talk about the yes lint rules so that whatever we write the javascript so to make it pretty we define a certain rule so that was defined that rules are defined in the yes lint and we can want to extend some rules more like uh, like you allow for arrow function and some more so you can add it all what is the use of node model so whenever we install the package like you know uh, whenever we do npm i we install the node module whenever we install an independence that went to the node modules what is the use of ios so let's suppose we are using some we are using some changes so sometimes we have to do some changes inside the our app and that's why it, it is a use of ios folder android folder is also some use case so let's suppose we we build our app or we install some dependency so we have to do some changes on the android folder and whenever we uh, bundle our app so that will affect on the bundle folder and the test file has used whenever we write app to test cases for our app okay so this is the uh, file structure of our react native in the next session we will talk about the fundamental of react native like how to uh, what is view what is text what is button and so on so yeah thanks we will uh, catch up in the next video and uh, let me know if you guys have any question or any doubt thanks